very interesting news of potentially what will become the new Tesla Model 2, the Tesla Model Q, the Tesla Model A, whatever you want to call it, Tesla's new 25,000 US dollar hatchback is coming probably by the end of this year. And it will be powered by, hello my friends and welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to have you here on the channel. Great to have so many new subscribers. Welcome all you new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Now, if you are new, or even if you're not new, make sure you check out some of the 700 plus videos that we've created over the last six months. There's a lot of information there that you just aren't going to find anywhere else at all. So what's happening? Tesla. Wow. I've got to say, very interesting news here. And I think the sources tend to suggest that it could be true. Now, Tesla has responded to renewed rumors about the Model Q or the Model A or the Model 2, whatever you want to call it, the $25,000 electric hatchback they plan to make in China. Now, where are they going to build this car? Well, I believe Tesla plans on building a new Gigafactory in China, probably starting some point this year. Now, recent rumors suggest that the new car will go into production at Giga Shanghai, though, and will be powered by BYD's Blade battery, which will begin testing at the end of this year for delivery at the start of 2023. Now, rumors of a cheaper Tesla Model Q, Model 2, Model A, whatever, just a new hatchback, have resurfaced recently in China, to which the company's China team has actually responded, surprisingly. Now, Several Chinese reports recently said that Tesla will officially launch the new Model Q in 2023. CNEV Post says that it will be priced from 25,000 US dollars and it will be powered by BYD's Blade Battery. If you haven't heard about the Blade Battery, well, yeah, you probably should know about the Blade Battery. It is a very interesting piece of technology. Energy density in lithium ion phosphate batteries the batteries that the blade battery uses is lower than energy density in a comparable NCA or NCM chemistry battery. But a huge advantage of blade batteries is they don't set fire even if they're involved in a crash. And BYD says the battery will, should last around about 2 million kilometers. In fact, if you buy BYD right now, you get a 500,000 kilometer warranty on the battery, 500,000 kilometers. And that guarantees you a minimum of 60% of the original capacity after half a million kilometers. I mean, that is enormous. Now, one of the other things that people forget about lithium ion phosphate battery chemistry is you can charge those batteries to 100% constantly, discharge them all the way to zero, and it really does nothing to hurt the battery at all in terms of battery degradation it doesn't affect it big advantage versus pretty much all other batteries on the market you know most batteries that are in electric cars at the moment realistically you shouldn't charge them any more than about 90 percent and 80 percent is ideal and you shouldn't discharge them really below 20 percent unless you have to and if you're on a road trip or something like that so that's the big advantage of lfp batteries but i have made other videos about those batteries going into more depth in fact on BYD's 800 volt platform, which is what it looks like Tesla will use to build the Model A, the Model 2, Model Q, whatever you want to call it. So if you want to know what Tesla's going to use to build the Model A, check out the video. I'll put a link in the description below to that video where I talk about BYD's 800 volt platform. It's a new platform. It's got some big advantages over what BYD used to use. And honestly, I would be more than happy to own that system in any car that I bought. So there you go. That's my glowing praise, my recommendation. But check out the video first. Now, Tesla's China team, when asked about this, the Tesla model, $25,000 model being built using BYD's Blade battery, said that it was not aware at this time, according to a report today by the Global Times. It's not aware at this time. So I don't know why they said that. It seems stupid to me. They should have just said, we will not be discussing this vehicle. Not saying we're not aware at this time. I mean, come on. We all know the car exists. So I don't know why they said that. Anyway, the news about the Tesla Model Q is all unfounded speculation at this point, the report said, citing industry sources. 
We do know, though, that Tesla has organized a contract with BYD. We already know that. We, uh, Tesla and BYD, have neither, neither of them have denied the fact that Tesla is ordering 10 gigawatt hours of batteries from BYD. It could be more than that. I mean, we know at a minimum it's 10 gigawatt hours coming from BYD. And it seems as though it would make sense that those batteries would be used in this vehicle because, well, this would enable Tesla to sell the, the new Model A, the new model whatever, for a low price. 25,000 US dollars is a pretty low price. I know that's not cheap in China, but in the rest of the world, that's quite affordable. Now, recent reports say the so-called Model Q, they're calling it now, is a compact sedan, like a scaled down version of the Model 3, but with a sportier rear styling, more like a hatchback. In other words, maybe a hatchback version of the Tesla Model 3, potentially. Now, this model will be offered in a long range, high performance and single motor variants. In other words, there'll be three different versions with acceleration from zero to 100 in 3.9 seconds for the performance model and a range of 400 kilometers. Now, the 400 kilometer range does align with the range that comes with the BYD Blade battery, which is currently in the BYD EA1 or the BYD Dolphin, which is going to be sold, it just went on sale in the end of August in China. And that's going to be a car that's going to be available in many markets worldwide this year. It's already very popular in China. It's a very affordable hatchback, starts at about 14,000 US dollars. So it looks to, as though that battery pack, it's a 45 kilowatt hour lithium ion blade battery pack from BYD will actually go into the new Tesla $25,000 electric vehicle. Now, the new car will go into production. Apparently, they're saying at Giga Shanghai, which will be expanded in order to be able to produce these cars. And road testing will begin at the end of 2022, according to these reports. Now, this is not the first time that rumors about the new Tesla model have emerged into the, into the world from secret unnamed sources in China. Now, in 2020, there were several plans for Tesla to launch a $25,000 Model 2 but these were denied. Well, now in September of 2021, Elon Musk said that Tesla's $25,000 compact electric car will be launched in 2023, and it will be built and designed in China. Of course, this report could be made up, but quite honestly, I think it's legit. I think it's real, and I think Tesla's new Model A, Model 2, Model Q, whatever you want to call it, will come with BYD's blade battery and probably come with the three variants this report cites. I think it's legitimate and I think it's real. And in fact, I actually think that Tesla has already basically designed this car. I think they've already prototyped this car. I think they're much further along with this car than they are letting on. Development has been going on with this car for more than a year now. I really think that it's going to be shown to the public sometime in the middle of this year, maybe even sooner than that. But whatever the case, I am very excited to see this because honestly, a lot of people want a car, an electric car from Tesla that they can afford. And 25,000 US dollars is in a lot more people's budget than 40,000 US dollars for the current Tesla Model 3. Plus hatchbacks. I mean, they're way better than sedans. I don't know who you are, but you know, they're just so much more practical, but that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think I'm right on this? Is this report accurate? Will you consider buying a Tesla for 25,000 US dollars if it comes with BYD's blade battery? Now, I think this is actually a positive. Remember, Elon did say that he thinks the battery chemistry of the future is LFP. He didn't say NCA or NCM chemistry, which is what's in you know, the Tesla Model S Plaid, the Model X, the, the stand, the, the performance version of the Model 3, the performance version of the Model Y. He said it was LFP chemistry. And you know what? If you're a long-time watcher of this channel, you can see why I agree. I've talked about the benefits of LFP. There's so many benefits. I mean, here's one, right? One of the watchers of this channel, Paul, who has a business called BYD Drive. Check him out on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below to his Facebook page. He actually owns one of the first BYD vehicles sold here in Australia, which he just picked up over the Christmas break. That is an impressive vehicle, by the way. Now, he actually has batteries that run his house, way more battery storage than he even could ever dream of needing. And they come out of a BYD bus when it reached the end of its usable life. That's how good the batteries are. So 
Really big benefit having BYD Blade Battery. So I really do hope this report's true. Let me know what you think though in the comment section below. Have an awesome day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.